I'm Ben Chase, the AmeriCorps member serving as the Stewardship and Volunteer Engagement Associate for the Hemlock Restoration Initiative. I'm here to connect the dots between hemlocks, the French Broad River, and Transylvania County. As a foundation species, hemlock trees have an outsized impact on their environment, providing habitat for wildlife and influencing the water cycle. Hemlocks stabilize stream banks, reduce peak stream flow during storm events, and their shade regulates daily stream temperatures, keeping it within a tolerable range for wildlife such as brook trout, mussels, and hellbenders. The great trout fishing here in Transylvania County is in large part thanks to hemlock trees. You may not see hemlocks growing around large rivers, but in the upper reaches of the watershed, hemlocks are doing their best work. The small creeks and streams can warm drastically each day if they aren't shaded. These tributaries feed the larger streams and define the health conditions of the rivers where we like to fish and swim. As evergreens, hemlocks keep streams stable, clear, and cool year-round. Transylvania County and the banks of the headwaters of the French Broad are full of hemlocks. Hemlock woolly adulgid, or HWA, is an invasive insect that is killing hemlock trees in eastern North America, including throughout the range of eastern and Carolina hemlock in North Carolina. As HWA feeds, it causes the needles to drop, and eventually the whole branch will die. Once this little insect has infested a hemlock tree, it can spread to all the branches in a few years. A mature hemlock can decline in health rapidly and die in as little as four years. Widespread mortality of hemlocks caused by HWA has occurred across North Carolina. The Hemlock Restoration Initiative is a nonprofit program established in 2014 by North Carolina Commissioner of Agriculture, Steve Troxler, with the mission of ensuring that Eastern and Carolina hemlocks can withstand HWA and survive to maturity on North Carolina's public and private lands. The Hemlock Restoration Initiative, or HRI, partners with government agencies, nonprofit organizations, land trusts, community groups, and colleges and universities to protect hemlocks on public and private lands. HRI serves the dual roles of directly implementing hemlock management activities and providing educational resources to the public. HRI has supported the protection of hemlocks on both public and private lands in Transylvania County. Using chemical and biological control methods, HRI's hemlock strike team has worked alongside volunteers, state agency staff, and the North Carolina Forest Service Bridge Program to treat stands of hemlocks in Gorgeous State Park, Headwaters State Forest, and DuPont State Forest. Protecting hemlocks in these areas supports the ecosystem functions that keep the headwaters of the French Broad and Savannah River clean. As of June 2020, around 15,600 hemlocks have been treated along 22 miles of streams on these three public lands. In the coming years, we will be revisiting these stands to check on the trees and develop long-term plans to sustain their health, so that everyone who uses these public resources may continue to benefit from the services healthy hemlocks provide. HRI also hosts educational workshops to help teach landowners how to protect their hemlocks efficiently and effectively. Past workshops have occurred at Camp High Rocks, Camp Carolina, the Allison Deaver House, and the Faith Memorial Chapel in Cedar Mountain. HRI has worked in close partnership with the Transylvania County Cooperative Extension Service, Conserving Carolina, and the Transylvania Natural Resource Council to create a cost share program to help make hemlock treatment more accessible for landowners in Transylvania County. This program allows participating landowners to receive a rebate of up to 50% of the cost of hiring a professional to treat their hemlock trees. Questions about the cost share program, workshops, and other educational offerings can be directed to the Transylvania County Cooperative Extension Service or to HRI at the contact information shown here. We meet many people that think that all of the hemlocks in Western North Carolina have died, but we're constantly finding new hemlocks to add to our list of hemlock conservation areas. There are still hemlocks supporting healthy rivers and ecosystems, and luckily there are some successful strategies and many dedicated people helping to keep them alive. The hemlocks are part of what makes the Upper French Broad watershed such a special place to visit and live. For more information about how you can help, visit SaveHemlocksNC.org.